concrete towers for wind turbines have been shown to become cost effective over the traditional tubular steel towers at about 90 meters and at hub heights or tower heights of 90 meters and upwards. Now the South African wind energy industry um, started is very young. It started about a year, two years ago and international wind energy role players entered the country with the latest renewable energy and wind turbine technology and at tower heights of 80 meters and upwards. In that there is a huge opportunity for the local concrete industry to become involved in this industry and supply these 1,000 or at least a part of these 1,000 tower support structures for the wind energy industry. Especially since concrete is 95% and higher of local content and the DTI has included rules for local content in their renewable energy bids. The problem that we have however is that um, so to not block the international uh, wind energy industry and to assist them to meet their local content requirement the DTI has regarded the steel plate that is used in the, in the manufacture of these locally produced steel towers in these two factories as 100% local, although the steel plate is in fact imported. Okay, so now we see a value of 79% of local content coming from a locally produced steel tower, however the steel plate has been imported. Now I'm not sure what the actual value of proportionally of the steel plate to the 79 is, um, but the fact is that a concrete tower is 100% or 95% and upwards local. All the raw materials, the people, everything is really, it's really local. So now if we want to compete with the steel tower industry, we are not competing on a level basis.